This is a video about Carlson Survey GNSS. We will show how to process an RW5 file with stop and go data. As you can see here, I have here a number of files. I have rover files and I have my base files. Um, for my rover files, I have an RW5 file. If you look at the file, you see that uh, we don't have a solution, at least not a, a fixed solution. So we have to process this file. What we also have for the rover is uh, the raw data file, which is a Novotel file in this case. And then what we also have is a Rhinex file for the base. So let's go to Survey GNSS and we will start with a, uh, a new project like this. We go to Observations and we will bring in our base data. So we just select the Rhinex observation and we'll bring it in like this. For the rover, we just bring in the RW5 file and then the raw data will be automatically imported as well. So RW5 file, drag and drop, there we go. The file is now converted to uh, Rhinex. And there we have all our uh, stop and go points. We can go to the map, say zoom extends. So these are our rover points and this is our base close by. Um, what I can do now is go to uh, select my coordinate system. So in this case I will just select a UTM system. Uh, see if we can find the right one. That's this one. I say OK. So our positions are now in, uh, in Easting Norning. Also note that we have uh, the feature codes. So we have the original feature codes from the RW5 file uh, in, uh, in Survey GNSS. So we can use that later on when we export the data for our field to finish. What I have to do is select my base as a known point, like this. Basically I'm ready now for the, uh, for the processing, but what is always important is to, to make sure the right antenna model was uh, selected. So with control click, I select this uh, first observation of the uh, trajectory and go to observation details. And uh, as you see here, the antenna type was not recorded. So we can now just select it from the list. And I know I have been using a Novotel antenna like this and I save save the changes also like this okay so I have the trajectory selected and I have my uh, my base selected as, as well control click so we are uh, ready to go we say analysis compute vectors there we go we can look at the status bar see the progress there we are 100 percent so we go to factors and we see that we have a, uh, a fixed solution of, uh, of high quality. What I can do is I can uh, save the results, select all rows, OK. Uh, there are various ways to select it. I'm now using a table, an HTML table. So if you now go to our folder, open this table. And here you see all the results, which are now uh, stored. Um, what I can also do, of course, is I can uh, save the results as a Carlson uh, CODB file, and then, as I mentioned before, I can process it in uh, Carlson uh, Survey, doing the field to finish. And I can also save it as an RW5 file, land XML, or a KML file. Okay, that's the end of this uh, video. Thank you.